I remember the day. The day I got it. The Day in the World to Come is in two parts, composed by David Lang for the cellist Maya Beiser. And uh, it is danced by Wendy Whelan, and I've done the choreography. I approached one of the students. I arrived. The composer, David Lang, wrote two different compositions for me. The first one, World to Come, which is the second part of the day, based on this idea of um, life after death. It's a Jewish uh, mystical concept of what happens when we die and um, how the soul separates from the body. We started work on the piece when September 11, 2001 happened. We both were in New York City at the time, right there, a few blocks away. So the piece became informed by those events. I met Maya in 2010 because I was working on a film to the same music of World to Come and we just connected right away. I had always had Lucinda in my mind just as a, as a choreographer in general that I would love to work with. Lucinda's name was one of the people that came up and I immediately just thought she would be the right person because there's something to me very meaningful about three mature women bringing our experiences and our knowledge into this piece. Each of us is, has sort of, sort of broken a mold in our own careers separately. So coming together, I think we were ripe for the conversations that we were going to have as artists and welcoming because that's kind of naturally who we were. I fell in love. I fell in love with her. Two years ago, I, I, um, I was talking to David, and we felt that we should create another part to it and create a whole evening. The idea was to start from the beginning of the journey, so from who, who are all these people who died. There was just a sense of crazy loss, you know, when you just lose so many people and there's like one instant. I knew without a shadow of a doubt. David had this idea of going to the internet and sourcing what is the thing that you remember that was most valuable in, in your life, just one memory. He just chose the ones that, that he felt were relevant and it's alphabetically arranged. This piece has a, a semi-abstract side to it because of the text of the day. And in some ways, the movement that I've worked on with Wendy relates in a very subtle way and sometimes not so subtle way. I was standing on the stage. I was standing with a group of girlfriends. I was sworn in. The piece is 30 minutes long and it's never repeats. And then the text comes in every six seconds exactly. So it's sort of like a heartbeat and it becomes this meditative experience of the entire piece. And that leads into World to Come, which is the second part. I went to the doctor. I actually felt sick. I went to the hospital to see you. It's been wonderful to work together, but for me it was mostly how to occupy, how the two performers could occupy the space and exchange their positions in the space for the two parts of the piece. As I was recording the piece, I just kept seeing this image of a woman dancer. There was just something about the idea of, of a person, of a woman, who is embodying all these people, all these stories, and who creates a connection with me as I play the piece. This piece fits perfectly in, t in time for me. I don't think I would have been ready for this piece even five years ago.
Well, the arts are a celebration of humanity. They teach us how to think bigger, how to think more creatively, how to think outside the box, how to ask questions, how to work together. I think that is the greatest thing we can do for ourselves.